Forbidden Knowledge TV channels uh, through all the apps and services that we have, and you'll be get, able to get 30 days free on that there. So I'm giving you guys a lot of stuff, you know, trying to give you as much as I can uh, to get to add and build value so that you can actually appreciate, you know, what I'm doing. Um, yeah, and then I have another book coming out that I'm co-writing with Matt LaCroix called The Epic of Humanity. I hope to have that released by summer. Epic of Humanity. It's going to be the only book on history of this world. No other book on this planet will have this many references of ancient text inside of it. No other book that exists on the planet will ever have, well not ever, but at least at the, to this point will not have this many references to ancient texts and all the different sources and the ancient texts actually inside of the actual book itself. So this is a real dynamic book. It's a one of its kind to ever exist. Nobody's done it yet and we're doing it. So we're pumped up about that. Really pumped up. Okay. Uh, so um, that's going to be huge. That's going to be this summer. And then I have my 11 book. I'm sorry, my 8 book. I dropped it to 8 because 11 was too many. A 8 book volume set which is in editing right now. That'll be come to the end of the summer, be released end of summer. It's the Egyptian Mystery School eight book volume set. And it's gonna be eight books. The books are already done and written. It's all in editing right now. So uh, I had to cut it back a little bit. 11 was just too many, but eight was seemed to be the right amount. Cause you also have to always calculate in pages, um, weight, packaging, all this stuff has to be always calculated in otherwise if you you can always make you can make books so expensive for you to make them that you can't even sell them <laughs> so it's a whole process there's a science just behind putting a book out knowing that you can actually do it for and make actually a couple dollars cuz you can actually make a book and not make any money you can actually go and read every book that sells i did that on my first book <laughs> my first book <laughs> was um, version one of Compendium of the Emerald Tablets, which has that light brown co cover. The light brown cover, not the green one, the light brown one. That book was produced at a, at a loss, okay? At a loss. And um, I was fortunate enough to run into a publisher that came to me. Thank you, Poetic, for buying that ticket. I appreciate you. I was able to uh, run into an editor that came to me, Laura Cantu at Winter Wolf Press, and she said, hey, uh, I can see that the way that this book is done, the, the the way that you're, you know, the cost and everything else, I can see that you're, you're not making any money. <laughs> I said, yeah, how do you know? She said, well, I own a printing company. I, I own a press, a publishing company for books. So she sat down and, and talked to me and she was like, if you open to, she said, if your ego is not high and you open to some critique, I can help you. And I said, listen, forget that. I don't got no ego. I want to get all the critique I can get teach me what you know and uh, she we sat down the next day we sat down for about two hours and she went through everything with me page by page we went cover to cover and uh, she said I think I can help you with this book so we went back in went back to the lab and she helped me revise compendium of the Emerald tablets and turned it into volume number two which is the one with the green cover that became a bestseller and has been a bestseller for 19 months straight that's how good this lady's work is she really helped me fine tune and tweak that everything from the cover to my science articles to rewriting my science articles to help me make them more um, easy to understand for the average person. Um, you know, and condensing some of the fonts and the spaces and shrinking some of the images to reduce the amount of pages so I can actually become profitable. So she did a phenomenal job. Laura Cantu, I thank you so much, Laura. If you're on here listening now, thank you. I love you. Uh, you know, so sometimes, like I said, the law of attraction is an amazing thing because the opportunities will present themselves. And we're going to talk about this on Saturday uh, when you're trying to manifest your destiny. I want to manifest that book to be a bestseller. And I kept telling everyone, every time I autographed a book, the version one, the volume one, the brown book, the tan book, I would say, this is going to be a bestseller. I would sign it. This is going to be a bestseller. I would hand, and I just kept saying it over and over again. And um, that's when Laura came to me. She actually bought a book took it in her hand and I said this is going to be a bestseller then she came back to me and this was the universe sending this is the law of attraction saying hey um, here's the opportunity for you to look at this and make the adjustments to make it a bestseller however if you got ego and you don't want to hear any critique you're not going to be able to take advantage of this opportunity 
And so some people would have been like, get out of here, lady, man. I, I wrote this book. I did this and I did that. And I, I, and I, I got all these followers. They're going to buy my stuff. Or they could have done what I did, which was become humble and say, look, teach me. Teach me. What do you got for me? Show me. what. Tell me what you know so I can transfer that from your consciousness into mine. And we sat down and we, and we had a powwow. And because I was humble, my book became a bestseller. That's how, that's how it happened. That's how it happened. So um, we're going to learn this stuff. We're gonna, I'm going to teach you guys some stuff, man, on Saturday. It's going to really, you know, ex broaden your horizons and give you a new way of thinking about things and a new way of seeing things and a new way of understanding things. Simple things. Things that you would think are so simple. Like uh, I have a friend of mine that is very wealthy and um, she's always trying to get deals on things that are irrelevant. And to me, um, I should say, let me rephrase the word. She's not wealthy, she's rich. There's a difference between rich and wealthy. So she's rich, she's not wealthy. She doesn't have a private jet and things like that yet, but she's rich. And But she's always trying to skim out on little tiny things that to me are the most irrelevant things that are holding back the wealth consciousness. You know, trying to get a discount on airline tickets, wait until some relative can give you a discount on a ticket to the last second where sometimes you don't even get to book the flight. But you got, a, you know, almost a million dollars in the bank, you know, and you could just pay a regular price of a first class ticket instead of trying to save an extra seventy dollars on this, um, you know, uh, third class back of the plane by the toilet ticket. Just little things like that trying to find always trying to skim and trying to you know negotiate extra deals to get an extra ten dollars off on, on things that are really irrelevant I think that 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 blocks the wealth mindset I think it blocks the wealth mindset and it hinders growth uh, and I'm not saying to be wasteful and just waste money and give everybody and overpay everybody but what I am saying is there's a difference difference between frugal and blocking your blessings and so I'm going to cover a lot of that also on Saturday. Uh, we have to expand the way we see things, expand the way we think. When, you know, I go to the grocery store and I go shopping, I never look at the prices. And not because I'm got all this money in my bank account. I've been doing that since when I was poor. I don't look at the prices. I don't want to see the price. I have an average idea in my head, but that's what I go by. I don't want to. I don't want to look at. I don't want to be in the habit of having to look for prices. I want to be hunting down the best price and the best the best deal because that locks down that hinders my wealth mindset it breaks it down it, it, it cuts into the wealth mindset you know what I'm saying so uh, okay Illuminati Congo so you know um, so there's just different ways I, I think and see things and have been doing it for a very long time that I think just keeps me expanding and growing non-stop and I don't have any locks. There's no lid on top with a lock, a bolt lock. Some people put the lid down and they put a bolt lock on it. They don't realize it because of the way they're thinking about things and seeing things. Um, and so when you have an abundance mindset, you don't pay attention to certain things. I don't log into my bank account every day and check the balance every day. I don't care what the balance is in most cases, to be quite honest with you. I have an idea of what's in these bank accounts, but I don't log in every five minutes and keep checking on the account every five minutes. I don't do those kinds of things. I just automatically assume abundance will keep coming. That's how I do it. Uh, you know, so and I'm not saying to not balance your books and not pay attention to your account. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying you have to understand that if you watch it like a hawk and you become obsessed with watching it like a hawk, you, you're now you're saying, I'm afraid that abundance is not occurring. I'm afraid that there's a situation that's going to block my abundance. Okay, there's a difference. There's a yeah, everything within balance. Everything has to have balance, you know. So it's not that I totally ignore it, but I expect a I expect abundance. I expect it. Um, somebody that I had helped out, uh, not helped out, but they helped me out recently with helping me sell these tickets, um, became an affiliate because you know Eventbrite you can have affiliates, and I'm gonna offer this again next time. Uh, I don't only briefly offered it this time to a few handpicked people the Eventbrite affiliate link which lets you put the link in your stories and put the link on your social media or website and when somebody buys a ticket you actually can get a small commission it's too late now for this one but for the next one I'm going to expose it a little bit sooner and give people an opportunity to make a couple dollars maybe they can earn the cost of their ticket back 
Well, she she's earned uh, a few thousand dollars from her affiliate link, you know? And so I screenshotted uh, the revenue that she earned and texted it over to her. And she was like, oh my goodness, uh, I'm shocked. I didn't expect this. And I said, I texted her back and I said, always expect abundance. Always. Always expect abundance. Never be shocked of abundance. Never, ever be shocked of abundance. Never. Period. Expect it. Expect it. There's a twitch. There's a little flip in the brain when you're expecting abundance that taps into that frequency that brings it to you. Brings it to you nonstop when you expect it to show up. When I'm playing basketball at the gym or out there on the street, some of y'all see my basketball videos on my personal account, Billy Carson Official. I'm knocking down those shots left and right on these kids. I'm draining threes left and right. And every time I shoot the ball, I expect it to go in. I literally expect it. And actually when the ball doesn't go in the hoop, the hoop I'm shocked. That's the mindset change. That's the, see, that's the little tweak that I have that a lot of people don't have. I actually expect the ball to go in that hole. And when it misses, I'm shocked. And you can physically see that I'm, I'm actually shocked. Like, oh, wow, that didn't go in? Wow. Well, the next one will. That's the mindset I'm talking about. That's what I'm going to teach you on Saturday. I'm going to tweak your mind in a way that's going to have you walking around here in pure, unadulterated power and expecting everything to fall right into your lap. And I'm going to show you what kind of energy to put behind those thoughts, what kind of somatic frequencies to put behind those thoughts that are going to help manifest everything right into your reality tunnel. And then it's going to present itself. And now you're going to have a decision to make. Do I want to accept this window of opportunity here? Or am I going to let this window of opportunity pass me by? Because every uh, everything that you begin to manifest or draw toward you is going to come in the form of stages and steps. And each one of those stages and steps brings you closer to the ultimate goal. But you have to recognize that that's what's happening. Like that woman walking up to me and saying... I got some things to critique about this book if you don't have a big ego. Now, if I wasn't ready for the abundance, if I wasn't ready for the law of attraction and the manifestation, I would have just blew her right off. Get out of here. Get the heck out of my face, lady. I know what I'm doing. But that would have been a window I would have let pass me up and that book would have never become a bestseller. You see? You have to understand and be able to, to be able to discern the opportunities coming your way once you enact this thing, once you tap into this universal consciousness, that's what's going to make the change in your life. That's what's going to happen. See? This car I'm sitting in, I manifested this car. You see what I'm sitting in? Who knows what that means right there? RR. Okay? Who knows what that means? What does that stand for? I'm sitting in an RR right now. Ghost. I'm sitting in a Rolls Royce. You know why? I manifested it. In 2015 on my Facebook page, Billy Carson. Go to Billy Carson on Facebook and go to my photos. I started posting pictures of Rolls Royce ghosts. So much so that people thought I was buying one at the time. People were commenting underneath the picture. Are you buying this now? Are you shopping for this right now? What's up, Alexis? Yeah. Are you buying this right now? Well, I'm shopping. I'm shopping for one. Yes, I am shopping for for this ghost. That was 2015. By 2017, let me let me add another level to this. Also in 2015, uh, I posted that I was going to be adding uh, a song to this to to a, a Rolls Royce commercial. By 2017, I had the song ready to go. The song that I played on my own homemade video showing several of these different ghost cars, these ghost Rolls Royces. That same song, eventually, I sent it to the media department for the marketing company for Rolls Royce that has the contract for Rolls Royce. They licensed my song. They licensed my song, Twin Flame, which actually has me and Alexis, who's just on here chatting in the comment box, me and her on the cover. Then I got the car. 
I ended up manifested the car. And I was like, I want this car, but I don't want to have to pay, you know, $3,000 a month just to have this car. I can afford it, but then that's going to take away from my savings. It's going to take away from my traveling. So then I said, hmm, exotic cars. People are renting out exotic cars all the time. Let me start thinking about that. Let me start looking into that. I started Googling it. The next day, a friend of mine who I went to high school with called me and he said, hey, man, uh, a friend of mine has got a, a, a contract with the Ritz Carlton in Naples. And he's looking for some exotic cars. I know you were talking about getting the ghost. And I was like, yeah. He said, you need to go check him out. So I called the guy, talked to him on the phone, went over there, struck a deal with him. Then I would rent the car out. I would rent the car out between 10 to 15 days a month. And that covered the car payment. The rest of the month, I had the car for myself. Now, I've done that for a couple of years. Now, I just keep the car full time. I don't even do it anymore. Usually, I have a driver, but COVID-19, my driver that I was using that I can trust, uh, he's kind of been diversifying a little bit, so he's not he's not um, you know available 24/7 for me anymore, which is great. I'm happy for him. I'll find somebody else eventually and still use him sometimes. But yeah, so the car paid for itself. I paid zero dollars for this car. I paid zero dollars, zero, nothing. I, I made a profit. I made a profit with this car. Then I wrote it off on my taxes. <laughs> you see what I'm saying, guys? I'm going I'm to show you how to tweak your brain. I'm going I'm to teach you some techniques on how to see this world totally different and how this law of attraction works. But you got to be ready to understand when these opportunities come. Are you going to jump on them or are you going to let them pass you by? And people do it every single day. They want these things and they want to acquire this and they want to get here and they want to do this and they want to get that. And then when the step-by-step -step process that leads them to or that would lead them to that ultimate goal present themselves, they're blind. They can't even see it as an opportunity. They can't see how it's going to link to this and how that's going to link to that. And because of that, windows open, but guess what? Windows, they close. Doors open, doors close. And then, boom, the next thing you know, you look back in hindsight and you're like, damn, that's what that was going to do for me. I missed it. It's too late. It's like saying I should have bought Bitcoin when it was $15,000. Now Bitcoin is $30,000 today. You missed it. You got to have you have to have the vision. You have to see the you have to be able to see the future. All right? So that's what it's all about. Like like I say master manifester. You have to become a master at it. It's something that you work on day in and day out, night in and day in. Every single day you work on developing these manifestation skills. And these are going to be the skills I'm teaching on Saturday. These are the skills that I'm literally teaching on Saturday and how to actually tap into this. What are the techniques to use? What are the different ways of thinking? How to see things totally different? How to not see things the way that everybody else is seeing it? I don't, you know, you ever heard this term, uh, you know, don't never see the, the glass as being half empty? I always see the glasses half full. I don't even see that. I see the glasses always uh, overflowing. My glass, my cup is always overflowing. You know why? Because you have the liquid in the bottom of the glass, and then you also have the atmospheric gases on top of the liquid, which is also a soup. The actual atmosphere that we're living in is on top of the liquid. That means the, the glass is always overflowing. The glass is never empty. If you empty all the liquid out and just send an empty glass there, the glass still ain't empty. It still has atmospheric gases in it. So the glass is still full of molecules. The glass is always full and overflowing nonstop. It doesn't matter what it looks like. It's always overflowing. It's always overflowing. You got to understand these things. You got to understand the science behind this. I'm going to teach you how to take Negative thoughts about yourself, negative energy, bad situations, poor financial management. And I'm going to teach you how to alchemically transfer all that negativity and all those bad habits and all those bad things into a fluid called water. Yeah, two atoms of hydrogen and actually an atom of oxygen. And then, because water has memory, and then we're going to inert cymatic frequencies into it. And then we're going to drink it after we convert it. I'm, and then that's going to change the DNA in your body. We're going to do all this stuff. It's going to be amazing, guys. You've never, you never been part of anything like this before. 
You've, t you've heard and seen all the gurus. You've, you've seen all the YouTube video, but you've never been a part of something like this. I'm getting ready to change your life for forever. 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 Okay? I'm getting ready to change your life forever. You have never seen or heard what I'm about to teach you. And if you have, then you should be up here with me on the next show helping me teach it. Okay? I'm telling you. It's the next level. It's the next level stuff. So I'm excited about it. I can't wait. There's only a few tickets left. Um, like I said, a few people did cancel, which released a few tickets. So if you want to get it, you got to click on that link because once they're gone, they're gone. I can't stop it. And then, you know, Eventbrite automatically turns off the link at a certain time. Uh, I think it's the day of the event in the morning. They'll automatically stop taking tickets no matter what. They blocked it. And I can't reactivate that. That's on them. Uh, but if you want to be a part of something special, part of something massive, uh, this is the thing for you to get involved in. And it's going to change your life. And then the, be the beautiful thing about this is you'll be able to actually share this with other people. You'll be able to teach this to other people, family members. Start working with your kids at an early age, developing these talents and abilities that are already inside of all of us, developing the way of seeing things, the way that you not, you'll now know how to see things and understand things so that they don't get caught up in the programming from the institutionalized teaching from school and, 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 and all the poly tricks and religion and all this other foolishness that we got going on out here that's just tricking people and programming us into into dumb robots complete dumb robots we gotta turn off all that program coding okay it's time to it's time to release the ignorance and it's time to be to activate the intelligence and I'm not talking about book smart I'm talking about cosmic intelligence that's what I'm talking about cosmic intelligence forget the books let's go cosmic we're going to tap into these cosmic rays. We're going to tap into this real knowledge, this real wisdom. And we're going to take ourselves to the next level. And I'm on the ride with you. Like I said, just preparing for this event taught me some stuff. It made me smarter. Made me more wise. Gave me more insight. Gave me more insight just preparing for this event. So I'm pumped up. I'm excited about it. I'm really excited. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing. I want to thank everybody for taking the time. Uh, to come on this live today and listen to me rant a little bit, but it's gonna be well worth it uh, Instagram is giving me a countdown now. I guess it's the new thing. They count you down before they shut off your video I want to try to save this video so I can repost it on YouTube or something So I'm gonna go ahead and end this now and save it uh, But I'll be back on again soon guys. I'll be back on again soon. And thank you everyone for all your support <clears throat> again 99.9% .9 of everybody got a book if you didn't get the woke doesn't mean broke book uh, during the holiday order time when things were slowing down for USPS just send an email to customer service at forbiddenknowledge.com with the number four and my customer service representative will hit you right back with usually within just a couple of hours do a little tracking see where it's at if it's still in tra if it's still in uh, in progress of being delivered or if for some reason they have to contact uh, USPS and try to get some additional information if not We'll just send you another one. That's no big deal. We'll just send you another one. But again, I am probably switching over to UPS or, or DHL because the post office is horrible. They're really, they're really bad. All right. Look, I appreciate you guys. All right. I love y'all and I'll talk to y'all soon.